folks, this is uh, Jason from MrBigMan.net. I'm here to show you the first part of our exploration reactor tutorials. Um, today we're just going to build something very, very simple to give you an idea of how to put things together. Um, we'll go into more detail on how some of the modules and macros are actually built uh, over the next uh, few tutorials. Um, so what we'll do is we'll drag a couple of macros out and we'll discuss what they are and then we'll go from there, okay? Now, first of all, uh, we're going to look at the note pitch. Now, note pitch is essentially a module that allows you to plug um, the pitch input, which is coming from your MIDI keyboard, directly into the oscillator. So that whenever you press um, a key on your keyboard, the oscillator will sound. Um, and that will be at any pitch uh, right across the keyboard itself. Now, as well as that, we also need a gate input. Um, and that is just essentially to make sure that it doesn't go mad whenever you press those keys. Uh, so it keeps it all in one place. Uh, essentially it's just an ADSR um, for your attack, decay, sustain and release. And um, we'll pull that out now. And as you can see that's got a pitch input and a gate input. Um, and the output then will go into the gate end of the oscillator. Now I've built my own oscillator. Um, and I'll show you how to build macros and oscillators as we go along in these tutorials as I said but we'll, today we'll just worry about putting them together and see what we can get out of them um, so we'll just plug it up now so we'll take the pitch from um, the note pitch and put it into the pitch end of the oscillator um, I'll then do the same thing for the um, ADSR uh, but we'll also take the gate output and we'll put that through into the gate input of the ADSR and um, we'll take its output and put it into um, A here, which I assume isn't ADSR, but goes there anyway. And um, we'll take the output from here and plug it to here. And you'll see that everything now starts to light up. Uh, that's a good thing because that means we're going to get some sound out of this. Um, so we'll just take the input output from here um, so that we get a stereo sound. And now I'll play some of the keys and you can hear some of the sounds. Okay, so we've just got that on to a, a, a massive sound there. We'll go back to the main panel so you can see the actual um, oscillator itself. As you can see, we can choose from different waveforms. A very pleasing saw wave there. Um, also triangle wave here. Don't know if you can hear my snare drum in the background going mad because of the bass coming out of that, but let's see what it's like with the sound. Wow. Uh, and then we got a random noise as well. Okay, uh, that's the first part of the tutorial. Uh, we'll come back next time uh, and we'll go through some more. Thanks.